Hello and welcome to the latest instalment of the Confex Q&A. Today I am joined by Rick from One Tribe, who are going to be one of our headline sponsors at International Confex this year. Um, Rick, thanks for coming with me uh, on this journey today and answering some of my questions. Um, it's good to see you. Why don't we start off with a brief overview of who you are um, and what it is that One Tribe do? Okay, pleasure to see you again, Jack, and uh, thanks for the invite to come and do this uh, this little interview. Uh, we're excited about Confex, uh, not long to go now, so it should be a lot of fun and uh, meet yeah. a lot of great people. Uh, so yeah, just just quickly, who I am. So I'm the CEO and founder of One Tribe, uh, a business we started about four years ago. Um, it's t it's a basically a group of uh, environmentalists, marketers, carbon scientists that came together. Uh, to build a platform and a business that can really help other businesses globally on their net zero journey, uh, to lay a pathway out to help them with their calculations of their carbon footprint and to offset the emissions while they continue on that journey to net zero. So we work with a lot of businesses around the world that are kickstarting that process or more advanced, uh, and we fit in and we help guide and deliver a series of products and services. Excellent. So let's go a bit deeper. Talk to me about your journey. How did you uh, get into events and what led you to uh, where you are now? Yeah, it's, uh, so I my event uh, sort of uh, career started out probably 20 years ago, 43 wow. now, but like 20, 25 years ago, I was actually in the in the music industry, a DJ and a promoter of various events and festivals and uh, always been in that space large gatherings, generally for like entertainment industry. I um, yeah. and started doing festivals and events, and then I ended up working for the Pasha Group, which is one of the largest nightlife and event brands globally. Uh, we did over 2,000 events a year from festivals, gigs, club tours, uh, and various other things in, in pretty much every country on the planet. So that's, that's where I started out and sort of got into the event space and the event organizing and uh, management uh, industry. I'm sure you have some um, pretty crazy stories, but we won't go into those today. Um, That's for another interview. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm recording. laughs> yeah. um, OneTrop is quite a technical platform in terms of what it does uh, for people online. And, and there's a lot that goes behind the scenes. Obviously, I'm, I'm well aware of it, but some of our visitors at the show may not be. So um, talk to me a little bit about how the system works and what it is that makes OneTribe different. Yeah, so the way we look at the, the overview effect of the events industry is the carbon footprint uh, of that events industry and the narrative behind how people are challenging that. Uh, what are they doing about it? Um, first of all, you need data. If you don't know your footprint, you can't act, act on it. Uh, so that's one pain point that we looked at. And the second point of that is how do you, how do you compensate for that? What are you going to do with that footprint right now while you continue to reduce emissions? And then the third point of it is how do you actually market that and, 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 and use that to your advantage? So what we do at One Tribe is we cover all three topics, the calculation, the actual offsetting and management, and the marketing collateral as well, which is attendee engagement. So in a summary, we really help events calculate the carbon footprint, offset mm -hmm. those emissions while they continue. They have to be continuing to reduce emissions by changing supply chains, et cetera. And yeah. then we show them how to market this and engage their attendees, how to bring attendees into that journey so they know they're attending that event in a more sustainable way, that their emissions have been calculated and compensated for, uh, mm -hmm. and that they can see that they're supporting real climate action. And we're dedicated to nature-based solutions, so helping regenerate the planet. And what our platform does is actually help the event, in terms of a carbon footprint perspective, give back more to nature than it took to create that event. So you move your event into a more of a regenerative state yeah. uh, as opposed to a simple polluter while you are continually enhancing and improving the actual emissions factors of those events by, again, changing supply chains, uh, re reducing travel, et cetera. So yeah. it's a full carbon footprint management uh, marketing solution that really is game changing in the events industry. It's uh, for sure a market leader platform and now uh, we're very excited to roll this out this year. Amazing. Great. That's a great synopsis. So obviously it's so clear that sustainability is is really important um, for our industry and event organizers in particular will have to be very careful when planning their events. What are some of the things that you think are 
sort of commonly overlooked by event organisers when they're planning their events in terms of sustainability? I, many, many things. The events industry as a whole is absolutely not in the uh, sort of top 10 of industries who are actually really dealing with the footprint uh, yeah. and the sustainability initiatives. We see what we hear, the common thing, oh, we've changed our plastic plates to cardboard, right? <laughs> that's that's like the common yeah. thing, is, it's, which is great, but it's like the, the minutiae of what you could really do. Yeah. Uh, so the, the overlooking thing really is, you know, and, where are the venues? What venues are you using? Are you checking the venues are using sustainable energy sources? You know, that's a massive factor. Uh, what are your travel emissions? Are you facilitating people traveling to the events? Is there any way you can engage them to travel in a more, you know, sustainable way? There's a lot of angles that you can go at. The issue with the events organizers, as, as you know, it's, it's an extremely complex industry. Uh, mm -hmm. Margins are tight when it comes to attendees. And if you're doing annual conferences, the fact that you only do this once a year or maybe half a dozen times a year, it's not a weekly process. It's really difficult sometimes to kickstart those changes. Uh, it actually happened. You know, it's it's a last of the min last minute planning process and it gets done yeah. and then we're going to try better next year. And next year comes and people generally don't try so well. So it's a lot of a, a lot of things that really need to be calculated and brought brought back in and adapted to, uh, you know, to make it more sustainable. Yeah, great. And we, we always try and get some kind of practical tips out of this session for event organisers. Um, and I'm sure people on site can come and see you and, and find out more. But are there any quick wins other than obviously working with one tribe that uh, people can <laughs> can do to make their events more sustainable? Some sort of um, easy first steps for someone who's maybe not really taken any action yet? Yeah, I mean, whether you use one tribe or a different provider, get, get understand your carbon footprint, know mm. where your hotspots are. Deal with those as quick as you can, changing supply chains uh, and actually compensating for that straight away. So you're back in nature based carbon offset projects, funding that is something that you should really be doing uh, and actually getting the benefits of that. You know, do do that straight away, uh, whether you use one tribe, which is great, but if you, there's, there's other people out there as well, you know. So um, I would just yeah take action now, do something now that actually has a positive impact. Don't wait until 2050. That's really the takeaway uh, for the events yeah. industry because the events industry global initiative um, has really kicked it down the road uh, to look at the footprint compensation that needs to be brought back immediately. And you benefit from the marketing aspects of that. Great. Excellent. There's some really good tips there. So obviously you're going to be tracking Complex for us and um, so people can get some sort of live data on how the show's doing, which is excellent. But you guys are also going to be exhibiting at the show, which is great as well as sponsoring. So um, what can people expect from you guys at the show? Um, will they be able to come and meet you and see the team there and find out more? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a, we've got a full team in attendance, so you'll see a lot of us uh, at the event and we are stand there. We'll be showcasing the actual product and value proposition of that to event organizers. So any event organizer, agency that manages events uh, or anyone in that industry, for sure should come and speak to us, uh, see how we've developed uh, this new service and how you can future-proof your event uh, by partnering with OneTribe. Uh, we look forward to uh, meeting as many organizers as we can. Excellent. And uh, I'll always wrap up with where people can find you guys. So where can people find out more information, website, contact details, etc.? OneTribe.com. Go straight to the site. You'll nice understand everything about it and uh, fill in fill in the CTA form on there. One of our team will pick up a call uh, with you straight away. We look forward to speaking to everybody. Great. Thanks for joining me, Rick, and uh, look forward to seeing you at Confex. Excellent. Thanks, Jack. It's been a pleasure. See you there.